Hi, this is Sandy with It's Time to Make Sense, and today we're going to work on part four of our series, Learning How to Use Google Blogger. So if you missed the others, each press release that I do, I will continue to add the previous ones so that you don't have to keep going back. But if you're not a member of IBO Toolbox, you can come on over to ibosocial.com backslash the time is now. You can click on the little pencil and create your own account, first name, last name, and a email address. I'll take you there real quickly and it's free to join. You can start writing your own press releases, your own interest, share your businesses and you also get 500 credits that you can use for banner advertisements and things like that. If you also would like you can come over to it's time to make sense.com scroll down there are many tutorials here on different things to help with your business including um, IBO toolbox so you can learn how to use the platform but learning to blog this link right here is going to take you to the same um, tutorials that I'm doing right now so they're all right here okay so let's get back over to the Google blog and what we're going to do is let me take you here for one second because I'll show you if you're on the ibosocial.com backslash the time is now and click on the PRS this is where you can also find a lot of different tutorials and here are the ones that I've done on Google but there's many here to help with your business and different things for traffic so this is where you can find them also on the it's time to make sense website so let's go over to our blog and we did the three in the previous ones and I'm just working on my Plexus Ambassador blog and we're gonna start a new post so you would just click on post once you're again signed in to the Google account that's associated with your blog you're gonna click on the little pencil at the top here and we would just give it a title of course but we're not gonna do that right now I simply want to show you how to add a page break so that when you're in your blog I'll take you there you can add a page break like this so that your reader it doesn't take up your whole blog and your reader can click here to see the whole post okay so let's get back over here and as you'll notice you have to be in compose when when you first log in you have to click on this otherwise what I'm telling you is not gonna work you're gonna be in ready to write a blog but be sure to click compose before you actually start doing this and as you notice you can change the font here's the few fonts that they offer and here are the sizes they offer you can do bold you can do italicized you can underline you can change the font color but what I wanted to show you is the best way to get what you want so say if you noticed when we were back over here there's not many font styles that you can choose from so you can't use any type of a script or anything so what you want to do is use a word uh, Microsoft Word or a Word notepad something like that where you can change your font and I also so when you're under format you would just click font and here you get so many different choices for you know writing your blog so you can also do your italicize and all that stuff right here and then of course you can get some bigger sizes so if we did it that way it's got to be highlighted if we did it that way well here you can do it this way too so if we wanted to make it bigger we can do it there okay so now what you would do is you would just copy what you written or what you typed in your Microsoft Word and come on over here make sure you're in compose and paste it okay so this is how you can edit and change your font and the size because you see the largest here may not be the largest here so you know it just depends on what you want to do and what you want to say so then if we wanted to we can go here and change so that when you start typing we can go back to let's say 
it just depends on how you want to do it if you want to add a larger font you can do it here if you want to get back to a normal font and start writing you can add it all in here so let's go back down to say 14 and we're going to do it in and we're going to leave it in black okay so say for instance you want to do it this way Oh. Butterfingers today. Okay, so you can do it all in your Word, Microsoft Word, copy it, and then when you go to paste it here, it's going to hold what you just did. But now remember, depending on how big you know your font is going to be, you want to preview what it will look like, of course. So you don't have to publish it until you preview it. Okay, so this is how it would look if I were to publish it that way. Now, say for instance, you have your title here and you want the reader to have to go to the next page in order for you to do that. So we're going to put this here and then all you have to click is this little piece of paper here that looks torn. And if you click there, you're going to notice the page splits. Okay, so you got a page split here. So if we preview, it's not going to show up here because we would have to publish this because this is your whole blog post so in order for it to be like you know the actual blog itself so if we go to the home page what's going to show up is just our orange font right here and then the read more is going to take you over to what we wrote here what we typed okay so it's that simple to change your font to type everything up in Microsoft Word then you don't even have to save this doc you can just trash it and be done with it or if you wanted to save your blog post in case you decide that you're gonna do a different blog and something happens to blogger then you can just start saving your Word docs too so it's really really simple so I hope that helps I always tell everyone if you have any questions you can leave them on the uh, press releases within IBL toolbox if you're not a member um, you need to sign up in order to leave a comment and then you can also um, request as a friend um, an associate and I can help you through messages so this is a great way for you to create your own blogs and remember to follow Google blogger you know guidelines when you're doing different things no adult content or your blog will be immediately um, banned um, including all the work that you did so I hope this helps and tomorrow we're going to be doing um, some different things so good luck to you